Welcome to Karis Tutorials. I'm Simeon Grace. I'm sure everyone is fine, especially during this period. We're going to be making this blouse in this tutorial, and I'll be using two and a half yards of Akara fabric. It's going to be a peplum blouse with attached collar. And the measurements we're going to be working with are on the bust, half length, full length, the shoulder, bust circumference, and on the bust circumference measurements. Don't forget to click the subscribe button if this is your first time on this channel. Click the bell as well to get notified anytime I upload a new video. So quickly, let's move to the cutting table. <laughs> the first thing i'm going to be taking is um the half length the half length is 15 inches but first i'll need to take three inches the three inches is going to be my width neck width that's the wideness of the neck so this is my three inches and the the half length is 15 inches that will give us um 18 then i added half an inch so this is my half length and also I'll be taking five inches first. So the first, the five inches is taken like this. Here's my five inches, I will rule it out. Now, here's my three inches. So that on the three inches, I can take the shoulder measurement divided by two. But the measurements now, all my circumference measurements will be starting from this particular line, this five inches line. So the shoulder measurement divided by two is seven inches. And I'm going to add half an inch. This is going to be a princess that line. I mean, so this is my 7.5 inches. So I'll need to rule out the three inches like this. All right, so I also need to take the arm O length of 8.5 inches for my particular measurements. If you have a wider bust, um, this will increase to like 9 or 9.5 inches. So this is the arm O, this is 8.5 inches. The other bust length is 12 inches. So I'm going to take out 12.5 inches because of the half length that I'm adding. So this is a on the bust line. Now, the bust circumference measurement to be taken like this. I told us all the circumference measurements to start from this particular line. So, that is going to be the bust divided by 4 inches. That's 8.5 inches. Now, you need to add your seam allowance, either 2 or 1 or 1 1.5 inches. So, this is my 8.5 inches and I'll add my seam allowance of 2 inches. So, I have 10.5 inches. So this is same as your bus circumference measurement plus 8 divided by 4 or bus circumference measurement divided by 4 plus 2. As well, the under bus circumference measurement. Now it's going to be taken under this line. This is the under bus length. So I'll take the under bus circumference measurement like this and it's going to be the under bus circumference divided by 4. So you can as well add your 2 inches to that. That's the same allowance. This is 8.5 inches. Now to connect our points. So it's going to be from the bust, I'll connect to the under bust circumference measurement like this. And from this arm hole, I'm going to take one inch. So the next thing we're going to do is um taking our one inch. So for the front, I'm going to get the midpoint, which is about this that's 4.75. So at the midpoint, I'll come in by 0 0.5 inch. So now I can connect from this point. That's cutting out my arm hole. Like that. So this is going to be the front and i'll be cutting it out the same way just like this before we cut now what i'm going to do is from the shoulder point i'm going to measure to wherever i want this could be on the bust point it could be um 
at the under bust measurement but i'll be taking the length of nine inches now what i'll be doing is to take two inches from my five inches i'll take two inches and the two inches is going to stop at those 10 inches where i measured first now i'm going to roll it out like this then from there i'm going to slant to the edge so you can see i'll be slanting to the edge of those five inches just like this so it's not going to be a sharp edge it's going to turn out this way so this is what i'll be cutting now Now, to cut on my fabric, I'm going to place this and it's, you know, I didn't fold this, so I'll need to fold my fabric, place this to cut for the front. And the back remains the normal cutting. So now, I like I said, I'll be bringing out a princess that from this. So it's going to be measured as from my line, five inches line. I'll be taking my princess dark line and the dark line of four inches. But for this, but for my measurement, it's 3.5 inches based on the nipple to nipple measurement. That's the bust span. So I'll be taking my 3.5 inches, which will basically stop at the bust point. And on the armhole, it's going to be the length of, you can take 3.5, you can go with four inches. So I'll be going with four inches. That's your choice. You can go with whatever desired measurements you want. And I'm going to be curving it out. Then on the shoulder, I'm going to take one inch. So that we can slope down, we can slant the line. So I'll only cut out, I'll only cut out the line of this one inch, and the princess that will be done on my fabric. So now this is um the sketch for the for the back and i already folded my zipper allowance of 1.5 inches same half length which is 15.5 inches and the arm all length 8.5 plus circumference divided by 4 plus 2 the other bus circumference divided by 4 plus 2 then i took my one inch so there's no need for coming in by 0 0.5 here on the arm o so this is the arm o for the back and the nice thing is going to be the um neck width and the neck width now like i said in the front we use three inches remember we brought it down this way but for the back is going to be three inches like this and the depth is going to be 0 0.5 inch 0 0.5 inch while on the arm hole, I'm still going to slant with one inch. So I'm going to connect this. Then we are still going to slant. Now, the for the back, in case you still want your princess that, you can go ahead. And if you want a normal that for the back, you can go ahead and do that. So this is what I'll be cutting out now. Now, I what I have here is my fabric and my lining. For the front, I cut out um, some parts of the front. That's the area where we have the five inches. I use the same fabric to cut. 
then I continue with the lining. So what I'll be doing here is to join the fabric and the lining so it will serve as my lining. I'm going to join this together. Then for the back, I already cut out my lining and the princess back is what I'll be joining, joining first for the back. Then I'll also be ironing my interface on that. Then for the front, I'm also going to cut out the princess that, like I said, then I'll join it. After joining, I'll iron my interface on the fabric too. So I'm going to join this, then I am my interface. Now this is what the front looks like, and here is the lining. The next thing I'm going to do is um, join this part together, just like this. I'm going to be joining this part so that when I open it up, it looks like this. Now, I have to be sure this part of my, um, this is going to fall on the neck, so I have to straighten it up, like I'm going to bring out my ruler and trace it out like this. From each point, now what I have here is about 3 inches to the right and to the left. So I'm going to trace it out so that it, it won't come out this sharp. This is what I am going to have. So I'm going to join that and I'm going to do the same to the lining. And after joining it with the lining, after joining the lining as well, I'm going to bring it up like this. So I'm going to start joining from this very end. So it's going to be a straight up joining from this end and it goes across to the other side, just like this. Then I'll come back to show you what to do. So this is what we have after joining. This is the inside and on the outside. Now what I'll make, what I'm going to do is, um, this is my the back and I'm going to take the allowances, the bar allowance are first going to join straight down like about four inches or thereabouts. So I'll join it and I'll start, um, from wherever I've joined that it's going to, it is going to align with this, the middle line here on the front. Then I'm going to join it so that I'll continue the joining. Then I'll come back to join to join the shoulder. So I'll be doing that on the fabric alone. After joining on the inside, I'm going to do the same to the lining. That's the lining for the back so that I can easily turn whatever I've joined with the lining. Now what I have done is to turn, as you can see. The next thing I'm going to be doing is... um to bring it from the lining, from the inside. I'm going to join the lining and the fabric like this. I'm going to turn it on the inside so that it can come out like this. As you can see, this is what it's going to look like. Then after that, I'm going to um, close up the side. So to do that, I will have to turn it in order to close the side that's for the back then the front for the front now i'm going to this is what we have on the front this is what it looks like i'm going to turn it as well to close up the side so that it will come out like this you can see i've turned this so that's what it's going to look like after that i'm going to Folding the front part, I'm going to fold it in and I'll be closing up um, to it. Okay, it's going to be on the front part. This is the front part of my fabric. So I'm going to, remember we left two inches while cutting. 
but now it would have reduced because of the seam allowance so i'm going to take like 1.5 inches this is my 1.5 inches and i'm going to join so i'm going to close it up like this so on it on the fabric the length now here is the shoulder this is the shoulder and this is the the half length so wherever you want the, this close up to stop depends on your choice can measure the length of seven or eight eight inches so i'll be stopping at eight inches i'm going to close it up to the eight inches point so that's what i'll be doing then we'll come back to close the sides now after joining the front as you can see this is what we have and the next thing i'm going to do is to um bring the front and the back so that i can reshape in the shoulder so we're going to measure how the shoulder trace out the excess on the shoulder. Then I'll take the bust circumference measurement divided by two, the under bust circumference divided by two. After which, bringing out the shape, I'm going to attach my flare. Yours can be pleats, could be gathers, anything of your choice. You can go ahead then. The zipper is going to be the um, upside down now. It should be turned upside down so that it will be easy to open up and that will be the last thing to do in this tutorial so don't forget to leave your comments in the comment section